Hi, Kaylee Hall here in the back of my art gallery in New Zealand reacting. It's a reaction channel. IMO, in my opinion, super thanks. I've got no sponsors, so super thanks down below if you get any value out of this. Um, if you can afford it, if you can't afford it, just enjoy it, watch the channel. If you've got a YouTube premium account, I can make a few cents just by you watching this video. So, awesome. Now, this is the Georgia Kappelman for the President of the United States of America channel. If you agree, make a comment in the comment section. In my opinion, Georgia, wow. If Georgia said to me, Kaylee, did you do anything? I would just go, yeah, I did it. Yep, lock me up. <laughs> she said, <laughs> yeah, 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 definitely, Georgia. Yeah, I confess. Um, here's Charlie lying on the stand. Did you have any input on the decision to change the boys' names from Markel to Adelson? If he says absolutely not, he's lying. Absolutely not. Then closes his eyes. So he does the same thing as Wendy does with this bizarre wide neck thing. Tilts his head to the side, so the tilt to the side. Like the old mask, the old Wendy mask, right? He's got it on for this. Did you have any to, to yeah. All of everything, all of this is based around Charlie's obsession with Nazis and anti-Semitic behavior against Dan, who is extremely... Um, people give me a wee bit of grief. A couple of people said because I'm I'm not religious that uh, I shouldn't be persecuting anyone that is. I don't per persecute anyone. I stay on the fence, right? Um, in my art galleries, I just had a rule because we had so many people coming and going, right? Leave your religious conversation, political, <laughs> more political conversation. Um, anything controversial at the door of the art gallery and let's just all be friends and that's how I want the channel to grow is let's all just be friends right and not worry about what our personal things are and just look at the bad people in this um, so he's started lying right off the bat do you and Donna have to protect Wendy no you don't have to but you do you're obsessed does Wendy so that was good hard no right like, but Okay, anchor point movements. They've got him on a swinging chair. So if he swings after he makes a comment, you know, there's a there's something to keep an eye on. There's a data point. Let's just go back. Wendy? No. Does Wendy appreciate everything you... See how he swung on his chair after he said no? But that's a good firm denial. So that's good. We want, we, we want to see firm denials like that when someone's trying to be honest, you know? But you've got to ignore the honest behavior. Do you and Donna have to protect Wendy? No. Does Wendy appreciate everything you and Donna do for her? You got, you got to ask her. I mean, she's my sister. I love her. I try to give her my best advice I can. If I, I care about her and I give her my advice, whether she takes it or not, is, uh, is up to her. She's, me, a, she's a grown woman. Let me ask it another way. Right, so more deceptive behavior. She's just asking for yes and no answers, right? And then he just went into all of that. Let's go back and listen again. And I give her my advice. You got to ask her. You got to ask her. Just answer the question. So he's avoiding that question. Everything you and Donna do for her? No. Does Wendy appreciate everything you and Donna do for her? Does Wendy appreciate everything you and Donna do for her? <laughs> that is a tough question, right? Does Wendy appreciate everything you and Donna do for her? Bang, bang, right? Does she appreciate the murder? Yes or no? He can't answer yes. Yeah, she appreciates my help. He could answer honestly. Why don't he just answer honestly and say, yeah, I'm sure she does. Right? I'm sure she appreciates all the help. My sister appreciates it when I... Um, she's on her own with three kids, right? She helps... She appreciates when I do something kind. Yeah. Yeah, of course she appreciates it. My mum looks after the kids all the time so she can work. Like, it's just... A, it's what you do as a family. You help each other. <laughs> I'm not on trial. <laughs> You got, you got to ask her. I mean, she's my sister. I love her. I try to 
try to give her my best advice I can if I, I care about her and I give her my advice whether she takes it or not is uh is up to her she's, me, she's a grown she didn't ask you that she said does she appreciate everything you do with your help for her she didn't ask if you if you give her advice she didn't ask that at all did not answer that's a did not answer so we've got deceptive behavior already woman let me ask it another way do you feel or isn't it true that you don't feel that wendy appreciates everything you and donna do for her and my sister had no idea what i've been through yeah. Yes or no? The answer is yes, no, or I do not know. So she's poking the bear, right? Georgia is poking the bear. And you know what I mean by poking the bear? You poke the bear, it's going to come at you. She's trying to get him uh, jacked up. Let's listen to the question one more time. It's important to listen to Georgia's words because these are... She's asking it another way, asking exactly the same question, trying to poke the bear. Donna, do for her. And my sister had no idea what I've been through in the last, God knows how many years. Uh, he's a victim now. And what I, I wake up worrying, am I going to get killed? Am I going to get arrested? And she knows none of it. She's just going around her life. And I had an, somewhat of an innate anger towards her, mm -hmm. you know, probably. On he has some sort of innate anger towards her, towards Wendy. So will Charlie flip on Wendy? Let's just hear that again. Let's just go back. I'll go way back so we can just hear it flow through. Yeah, what I've been through in the last. Donna, do you do for her? You got, you got to ask her. I mean, she's my sister. I love her. I try to give her my best advice I can. And if I, I care about her and I give her my advice, whether she takes it or not, is, uh, is up to her. She's, me, she's a grown woman. Let me ask it another way. Do you feel, or isn't it true that you don't feel that Wendy appreciates everything you and Donna do for her. <laughs> Man, she would be an amazing, um, she would run an amazing, um, like a news company. She just re-answered the same question with the opposite. Well, do you feel like she doesn't appreciate what you do for her? And this works. So you don't appreciate what she, what, so Wendy doesn't appreciate what you do for her. She doesn't appreciate the murder, does she? And my sister had no idea what I've been through in the last, God knows how many years. That's not the, that's not the question she asked, but he's trying to say why he is angry with her now. And what I, I wake up worrying, am I going to get killed? Am I going to get arrested? And she knows none of it. She's just going around her life. And I had an, somewhat of an innate anger towards her, mm -hmm. you know, probably unjust because she didn't know what happened. But yeah, I... I was upset. So he was upset with Wendy. He had an innate anger towards Wendy. I didn't know that. Did you know about that? Let me know in the comments. And weren't you saying on the wire that you that she doesn't appreciate what you and Donna have done for her? She, I, I don't know if I said that she doesn't appreciate what I've done for her because I never did anything for her. Okay, so that get, was my next question. What, what have you done for her? Nothing? Nothing? <laughs> Georgia Kappelman for president. Georgia Kappelman for president of the United States. The first woman president of the United States. She, I, I don't know if I said that she doesn't appreciate what I've done for her because I never did anything for her. Okay, so that give, was my next question. What, what have you done for her? Nothing? Other than give her advice and care about her. Be a big brother that loves her. Why doesn't he just cave and say, okay, actually, I'm going to admit to it. If you just give me 20 years, I'll admit to uh, financing it. But Wendy did it, so I don't want to go. I'll, I'll do 19 years the same as Lewis Rivera. Lock me up now, Georgia. Just admit to it, dude. <laughs> Whoa. So now she's pitting. She's going to try and turn Charlie uh, to the government by the look of it. Oh, going by that question. That's amazing, right? Wow. Would you say Wendy's a little bit spoiled? Um, in some in some regards, I mean, she gets a lot of help for sure. You're turning on your sister, dude. Man, this family has no loyalty. Is she a little less savvy about how the world works than you are? I don't know. I mean, you got to ask her. Could you trust Wendy with a secret that could ruin your life? 
it's it's not a it's not a secret. It's something. <laughs> Gosh, for somebody that's, uh... <laughs> I'll play it again, man. In some in some regards, I mean, she gets a lot of help for sure. Is she a little less savvy about how the world works than you are? I don't know. I mean, you gotta ask her. Good answer. There's a good answer. I don't know. Ask her. That's a good answer. It's good to see that. Like, he's not completely thick, right? It's just been, so you've got to ignore the truth, right? So you told the truth there? I don't know. Ask her. That's fear. So we ignore that and look for the deception. Ignore the truth and what people say. Um, I lose a subscriber every time I mention how bad Jeff Lacasse is. But ignore his truth and look at the deception, right? Ignore the truth, look at the deception. That's what we're doing. Could you trust Wendy with a secret that could ruin your life? So let's explain that. Let's say you and Wendy had planned a hit, right? Um, can, do you think she'll turn on you uh, eventually when she comes under trial? Do you think she's going to turn on you to save her own life? It's, it's, not, a, it's not a secret. It's something that, that would get me killed. So I, I didn't want to tell her. It's not a secret. <laughs> That's probably the honest part, right? It's not a secret. Everyone knows you planned it. Can we agree that she obviously knew something about this crime? I tell you what, I tell you what I have sort of discovered watching all these videos over and over and over and listening word by word. I think there is an element of truth, right? And we should ignore it, but let's just look at it for a second. I think there is a true, a little bit of truth in the extortion because we now know Luis Rivera says, if, it, if he's telling the truth, Luis Rivera said that um, Wendy Adelson paid Katie Magbidema $5,000 and I think it was when they were in bikinis, I think, or at that dinner with Jeff, right? Jeff knows too much. Um, I think Kate, Wendy handed Katie $5,000. They come up do the failed hit the next time, and they were just going to rob them. And I think they did. I think they did go to Charlie and say, we want more money. I think they decided to rob them with extortion. I think it's actually a tiny part of that is true. But he knew about it the whole time. Like, I think they all knew that they were going to KIL Dan, but I think they were extorted. And then I think Charlie saw an opportunity to steal a lot of money from his parents. Both Charlie and um, Wendy, are, they're, they're after the cash. Speaking of after the cash, if you're getting any value from this, there's a super thanks button down there. If not, just watch it. She found out when she came to court. I, I never told her anything. I'm talking about the murder of Dan Markell. She knew something, right? I mean, it's not a coincidence she went to the crime scene, is it? The, you're talking about the route that she took that day? I'm talking about her pulling up to the crime scene tape. She never, she never went to the crime scene. She was going to buy a bottle of liquor that, coincidentally, the person sent her a stock the bar party for buy a bottle of bullet bourbon that she was going to pick up. She wasn't driving to a crime scene. Right. So this is extremely deceptive. Do you want me to? I'll break it down for you. First of all, he should not be defending her actions on the day. You don't defend somebody that you're in court, you're facing the rest of your life in jail. You don't defend Wendy. That was a bad move on his part. He's not thinking clearly, but I'm sure there's enough pressure. If I had Georgia in front of me, I would just confess, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I'll do whatever time you want. Just let me out one day. <laughs> um... Do you know what gets me? I'm an uncle, right? I've got nieces and nephews I just wouldn't want to get I wouldn't want to do anything that would stop me ever seeing my nieces and nephews but these people don't seem to care about the kids there's no caring about the kids it's only about their own personal there's so much selfishness going on here I would think would my actions affect the lives of these children yeah they would oh well just stay away from it don't do it don't be a bad person your nieces and nephews are more important than, you know. Is it? The, you're talking about the route that she took that day? I'm talking about her pulling up to the crime scene tape. She never, she never went to the crime scene. She was... 
Yes, she did. So in my last video, I did all the maps. Just go to my last video. If you click, go down and click on videos, um, recent. In my last video, I did all the routes that Wendy took, and she went across the city. Trescott Drive isn't a main arterial route to ABC Liquor. And ABC is on the opposite ends of the city to where she lives, right? It's 12 minutes drive. <laughs> 12 minutes. And that doesn't account for traffic. That's just distance with the speed of the car, right? And she went down Trescott. She didn't even take the main Belton Drive, right? Which would have been the main arterial route. She went to Dan's house to see if it happened. And then she, her time's all messed up. There's a big difference in time when she left Trescott to when she arrives at the bottle store. There's all this time missing. Then she says there wasn't enough time to have a shower. She had all the time in the world. Then she drives all the way back up to Mosaic Restaurant. Mosaic's way back up by her place. Come on. And he made the mistake of defending her here, and the jury wouldn't have liked that at all if they were onto it. He was going to buy a bottle of liquor that, coincidentally, the... And now he's digging his own hole by talking about bullet bourbon. Like, uh, they're all just... These guys are like a serial killer that collects things like the receipt for bullet bourbon on the day that he shot you go to the scene you man she's doing all the cliche stuff like trying to write a novel like, are they trying to go to jail so they can write a, write a multi-million dollar n novel later in life that's what it seems like it's so bizarre the person sent her a stock the bar party for buy a bottle of bullet bourbon that she was going to pick up she wasn't trying but, but, but bottle of bourbon he can't even talk he's realized he's dug a hole now driving to a crime scene. And I think she made that clear too. Nobody knew a murder was taking place. She pulled up to the crime scene tape, Dr. Adelson. She didn't pull up to the crime scene tape. She was driving down the street and then had to make a U-turn. It was blocked off. She pulled at Dr. Adelson. He's, a, he's a, like a teeth surgeon. She pulled up to the crime scene tape, Dr. Adelson. She said that to say, how ridiculous is your comment? How dumb are you? And he's defending, he should not be defending her. He should, you know, I don't know, ask her. Stick with, I don't know, ask her. Because she's asking hearsay questions. But she it's wasn't like going she to. She couldn't it. help herself. Nobody it? knew a murder was going to take place. Where's his defense lawyer? Just his defense lawyer should be yelling and screaming, waving his hands by now. Because what she's saying, she's getting away with heaps of naughty behavior here, Georgia, right? But it's phenomenal. So I'll go back and play it all through for the people that don't like me stop starting. But I'm a reaction channel. I have to make this transformative, right? Put on the decision to change the boys' names from Markel to Adelson? Absolutely not. Do you and Donna have to protect Wendy? No. Does Wendy appreciate everything you and Donna do for her? You got, you got to ask her. I mean, she's my sister. I love her. I try to give her my best advice I can and if I, I care about her and I give her my advice whether she takes it or not is uh, is up to her. She's, me, a, she's a grown woman. Let me ask it another way. Do you feel or isn't it true that you don't feel that Wendy appreciates everything you and Donna do for her? And my sister had no idea what I've been through in the last God knows how many years and what I, I wake up worrying am I going to get killed? Am I going to get arrested? And she knows none of it. She's just going around her life. And I had an, somewhat of an innate anger towards her, mm -hmm. you know, probably unjust because she didn't know what happened. But yeah, I, I was upset. And weren't you saying on the wire that you that she doesn't appreciate what you and Donna have done for her? She, I, I don't know if I said that she doesn't appreciate what I've done for her because I never did anything for her. Okay, so that give, was my next question. What what have you done for her? Nothing? Other than give her advice and care about her. Be a big brother that loves her. Like, Would you say Wendy's a little bit spoiled? Um in some in some regards, I mean she gets a lot of help for sure. Is she a little less savvy about how the world works than you are? I don't know. I mean you gotta ask her. Could you trust Wendy with a secret that could ruin your life? It's not a, it's not a secret. It's something that would get me killed. So I, I didn't want to tell her. Can we agree that she obviously knew something about this crime? She found out when she came to court. I, I never told her anything. I'm talking about the murder of Dan Markell. 
She knew something, right? I mean, it's not a coincidence she went to the crime scene, is it? The, you're talking about the route that she took that day? I'm talking about her pulling up to the crime scene tape. She never, she never went to the crime scene. She was going to buy a bottle of liquor that, coincidentally, the person sent her a stock the bar party for buy a bottle of bullet bourbon that she was going to pick up. She wasn't driving to a crime scene. And I think she made that clear, too. Nobody knew a murder was taking place. She pulled up to the crime scene tape, Dr. Adelson. She didn't pull up to the crime scene tape. She was driving down the street and then had to make a U-turn. It was blocked off. But she it's wasn't like going she to. she couldn't help herself. Nobody it? knew a murder was going to take place. She exposed you all to some degree by those actions, didn't she? No. Not at and all. And then she threw you under the bus in her interview, didn't she? That nobody knew a murder was going to take place. She knew her husband had just been shot, and they were asking her who would want him dead, and she said your name. Are you mad about that? No, she said a lot of people's names. Well, she Not said yours in the first 25 pages of a five-hour interview. Isn't that true? I wasn't there for the interview. But you've reviewed it in preparation for your trial, haven't you? I actually don't know if I've seen her interview. Oh, disappearing fix. So if you're being investigated, if you're on trial, don't say nobody knew a murder was going to happen. That's not true. It's a lie. The The two hitmen knew it was going to happen. Whoever paid them knew it was going to happen, right? So he's just lying on the stand. Like, no wonder the jury threw the book at him, plus 60 years or whatever. Like, he's just outright lying. Nobody knew a hit was going to happen. Yeah, they did. Yeah, everyone involved knew. <laughs> and then Wendy drives up to the crime scene. There was a lot of questions of you about, you know, didn't you do this murder with Wendy? Doesn't the state think you did this murder with Wendy? Have you, are you familiar with your charges in this case? Um, yes, I'm very familiar with my charges. Right. And, and who are you alleged to have done this murder with? Uh, I'm alleged to have done this murder with my sister, my mom, and my dad. Would it refresh your recollection to review a copy of the indictment in this case? I'm a slow reader, but I could read it if you want. She's going to say in this indictment that Wendy isn't, isn't named in the indictment, right? This is probably some like really complex stuff that George is doing. She's trying to hold Wendy out of it and just focus, keep the focus on him. Can I approach you on this? Okay. This is the official charging document in your case, Dr. Adelson. What does it say in reference to who you are alleged to have committed the murder with? Dr. Adelson, she said it again. So normally they don't give them a level of uh, hierarchy. Normally they don't do it. She's doing it to belittle him. She's literally belittling him um, on trial, which is sort of pushing the envelope a little bit, right? She's pushing the edge where you could end up in some sort of mistrial, but it's brilliant. Like, it's entertaining, right? George has got a real attitude. This is, what day is this? 2022. Oh, they, th they think I did a murder with Katie. Catherine McBanawa. Yes. Anybody else? What do you mean you haven't read the indictment? You're going to jail for the rest of your life and you haven't read the indictment? It's not true. Uh, give me a minute, I'll read. Give me a minute, I'll read. Things aren't connected up here, right? Like He's got something. The dude needs some sort of rehabilitation while he's in jail for the rest of his life. It's not connected. He's laughing. Give me a minute and I'll read. He laughed at Wendy so many times, things she said. Like, he just can't. I have met guys like that, that their just sense of humor is just, they just can't control it. Like, it just can't stop them laughing. Laugh, yeah. Yeah. So this has gone on too long, too. Like, he's just reading it too long. It takes a second to read the indictment. No, they got Luis Rivera on here. Luis Rivera, they got Sergio Lopez on here. Yeah. As being alleged to have committed the murder with you? I read it too quick. 
for time. Just give him a chance to think. Either that or he's just caving Should just in. be at the very top of each charge. On or about July 18th, 2014, did unlawfully. Okay. Yeah, Katie. Captain okay. <laughs> She's mothering him, helping him to read it. Katie McBenoit. Him and Katie. Here we have uh, Dan Markell's mum, Ruth, and, her, and his dad. Brings the weight back on it, right, real serious. You see them, you know. Are you mad that Wendy hasn't been charged and you have? No, I'm mad that I got charged for a crime that I didn't commit. Do you have any innate anger with Wendy over that fact? No, not at all. She used the same words, innate anger. He shouldn't have said innate anger with Wendy because now they can just use it against him. He should have just said, yes, no, I don't know. Are you pissed that she told all that stuff to Jeff Lacoste? I don't think she said that to Jeff, but I wasn't there. How did Lacoste know about the celebration dinner? <clears throat> that we went out to dinner? She got sick, so she may have told someone that she threw up. And then what, he just added the part about you referring to it as a celebration? I, I never referred to it as a celebration dinner. I, I picked my sister up. I said, where do you want to go to eat? She said she wanted pizza or sushi. I said, I know a great sushi place. We went there. We didn't have reservations. We ended up sitting at the bar for an hour waiting for our table. She had two drinks and got sick. She vomited on the dinner table or at the dinner table. Yeah, she got her to the bathroom. But yeah, she, she doesn't drink alcohol. So those two drinks, and I think on an empty stomach, I think she got really sick. But there was there was no celebration dinner. It was were they in a, what sort of restaurant were they in celebrating? Because I had, I thought it was a Japanese one. If you do a shot of sake, <laughs> I was thinking they might have done, or a shot of tequila, like, because they're quite crazy, right? I was thinking, man, because she, she, I think she does drink. It just reminds me of Sarah Boone case, like Sarah Boone was such an abusive person, and I think she just reminds me of the alcoholic, like this, there's a whole thing of drugs and alcohol going on here, right? In this crazy side, especially Charlie's like, I think there'll be more cases in the future about Charlie, but yeah. It's the first time that she actually really left the house since she got back, got back from Tallahassee. She was devastated. Did you say something to her about the murder? Of He's testifying for Wendy and should not be doing it. This is why he got locked up for such a long time. Dan Markell right before she vomited. Uh, Did you say something to her about the murder of Dan Markell right before she vomited? Absolutely not. Do you remember what you said right before? Is that where it absolutely not again? So yeah, he did. Where she vomited? Uh, she's probably, I think she said, I don't feel well. And I say, oh no. And then she threw up. Before that? No, I think I said, oh no. And then she threw up. Before she announced that she was going to be ill. Right. Do you remember what the conversation was? Um, just a, you know, how's the food? How's your, I mean, we were probably about halfway through dinner. We were, if you look at the timetable, we weren't there long. Why did you brag to Jeffrey Lacoste about your connection to the Cuban criminal element? I never said that to Jeff Lacoste. So he's he's making that up? If he said it, I never, I never said it. Well, you were in here when he said it, weren't you? I, I heard him say it, yeah. But I never said that to him. On one of these calls, and it's in the context of talking about Dave and Wendy's relationship with Dave, you tell your mom that you've already gone above and beyond for Wendy. Was that a reference to having her ex murdered? No, that's me getting tired of this Dave stuff. I mean, Dave's a great guy. I mean, everyone who meets him likes him. He's not only super successful, but he's very low-key, like t-shirts and jeans kind of guy. And he loved my sister's kids. I mean, if you, if you listen to The Wire, the point I was making is not how successful he is. The point I was making is that my, my nephews farted on him, and he thought it was funny and didn't bother him. And 
He also has three young kids, the same ages as my sister's two young kids. They actually met in line when my sister was registering the kids for school. And it was very, they've been friends for years. So I thought it was a, a great opportunity for my sister to have a great guy in her life. Um, and I was getting sick and tired of, of Dave calls and the wires started in April. My sister's birthday's in April, Dave's birthday's in April. So you got a ton of Dave chatter on this case. But believe me, I, I'd go crazy if I was talking about Dave like this all year long. One so you did not reference having her ex murdered? Absolutely not. When you said no. you've already gone above and beyond. No, that was me getting sick of dealing with the Dave stuff. As great of a guy as he is, I, I was still getting sick of it. Um, so this is just a massive cluster of deception. It's probably the biggest cluster that he's done. He's got an inappropriate um, level of care He's because he's laughing about this, about Dave. He's trying to laugh it off. It's an inappropriate level of care, um, of concern. Sorry, an inappropriate level of concern. Plus, he went into the massive long spiel instead of setting, saying no. Adding all those qualifiers to it. Just go back. Do you think if I came to the States when we uh, um, nominate Georgia for the President of the United States, do you think she would let me uh, be on her campaign? You know, I could have my little YouTube channel. Promoting uh, Georgia for president. On one of these calls, and it's in the context of talking about Dave and Wendy's relationship with Dave, you tell your mom that you've already gone above and beyond for Wendy. Was that a reference to having her ex murdered? So who's Dave? I don't know who Dave is. Obviously, I'm fresh to the trial, fresh eyes, fresh information. Who's Dave? I don't know who Dave is. No, that's the beginning. You let me know in the comments. Say as many things as you like in the comments. Uh, there's a lot of comments now, so if I don't see them, if you don't get a thumbs up or a love heart, I'm sorry. There's just so much. I wake up at uh, 5.36 in the morning and there's just comments because you guys are five hours behind me yesterday. Um, so the time difference is here. Like in the UK, it's 12 hours difference. Um, so yeah, I'm sorry if I don't see the comments, but I will get to some of them. And if you join the membership, it's way easier to comment because we all comment on the same post. So if you uh, down below there, it says join. If you join at four ninety nine a month for a Watson or ten ten nine ninety nine is it ten dollars for a month uh, as Sherlock Holmes that really supports the channel. I'm trying to get a thousand in the membership, uh, and each day I'm getting a member every day now. So that's great, fantastic. Join the membership, um, and I, it's way easier to chat away to you in the membership because I can do a mess chat way easier getting tired of this Dave stuff. I mean, Dave's a great guy. I mean, everyone who meets him likes him. He's not only super successful, but he's very low key, like t-shirts and jeans kind of guy. And he loves my sister's kids. I mean, if you, if you listen to the wire. Well, that's not good. But who is Dave? I'm sick of seeing people love my sister's kids. Um, when it's not Dan Markell, Dan Markell should be there, you know? Yeah. The point I was making is not how successful it is. The point I was making is that my, my nephews farted on him and he thought it was funny and didn't bother him. And he also has three young kids, the same ages as my sister's two young kids. Did not answer the question. Didn't answer the question. Highly deceptive, off to jail. They actually met in line when my sister was registering the kids for school. And it was very, they've been friends for years. So I thought it was a, a great opportunity for my sister to have a great guy in her life. Um, oh, I said I wouldn't swear for six months. Uh, 60 days, six months. Imagine that. Um, he's just so frustrating. And he looks like a gaunt Dracula. Now Dracula's white. This guy's whiter than Dracula. And I was getting sick and tired of, of Dave calls and the wires started in April. My sister's birthday's in April. Dave's birthday's in April. So ah. April. I wonder if anything happened in April for Wendy's birthday. Any ideas? So you got a ton of Dave chatter on this case. But believe me, I, I'd go crazy if I was talking about Dave like this all year long. One so 
that's a no. You did not reference having her ex murdered. Absolutely. The question was, did you reference having the ex murdered? And he starts talking about Dave and being farted on by a ridiculous, right? Highly deceptive. Look at her face. She didn't buy any of it. She's got her face covered down here, eyes closed, people looking around. He's trying to bore everyone, right? Just bore. Bore everyone to death. Absolutely not. When you said no. you've already gone above and beyond. No, that was me getting sick of dealing with the Dave stuff. As great of a guy as he is, I, I was still getting sick of it. When the one million dollar offer was conceived, if you ever end up in his situation, hire somebody, hire a media, hire somebody to train you for trial. Right? Like he's got no quirks or anything there. He's just sitting there trying to be honest, and it's not working at all because. George's questions are, are far superior and her non no nonsense approach is far superior and it's just making him look like a massive liar and he's lying through every, everything he says he's being highly deceptive right <laughs> um whereas old Jeff is twisting on his chair sculling water twisting but he, he was but he'd obviously had some training because because when Jeff answers his questions, he opens his mouth, he already knows the answer. So I think Jeff's had some training and that's why he came across so good. Yeah. Do you recall whose idea that was? Uh, my parents. Why was the relocation worth a million bucks? Well, it was, it was actually going to, I was going to pay a third. So I, I only looked at it as that way. Right. This is where I think um, Charlie was extorting his own parents and Wendy. So they say, let's move Dan a million bucks. There's no way. There's no way. Because let's pretend, let's just say that the Adelsons is a crime family, right? Let's say they are a crime family just for my novel. So I'm writing a novel about the Adelsons crime family. And they go, let's uh, pay Dan a million dollars to move. It's worth a million. He goes, you know what? I reckon I could do it for 300000 I need a hundred grand each off you, right? He said I was going to pay 300 grand. Now he's just put himself in the plan because Dan's gone, right? Dan has been K I L L E D. So now he's talking about this idiot. He should have said, I don't know. So now he's talking about $300,000 for the relocation, right? There's no way that Donna, Wendy, Charlie, or Harvey were ever going to pay him a cent. None. Zero. So the relocation is probably underground, right? They're going to pay for him to go underground. Charlie says, I need this much money, extorts it from his parents. Um, Wendy pays the uh, Sigfredo Garcia through Katie. That's why they're... Funny how Jeff was dating Wendy at the same time Katie's dating thing, like for this all this to happen, those two dates happen, like they got connected with two more psychopaths. I think Jeff's a psychopath, and I think that, um, well, we know that Katie's a psychopath. So it's amazing they all got brought into this together at the same time, right? Charlie's organizing um, Dan's relocation. Um, why was it worth it? Mm -hmm. That's the question. Because it was going to help my sister out. And why was Dan's relocation worth it? Because it was going to help my sister out. There's your confession. Confess, confess, confess. Lock him up. You've just confessed on the stand in front of Georgia. She got you. It only took her nine minutes and 52 seconds. It took Georgia nine minutes and 52 seconds to get him to confess to the M-U-R-D-E-R. I'll play it again. I'm on one of these calls, and it's in the context of talking about Dave and Wendy's relationship with Dave, you tell your mom that you've already gone above and beyond for Wendy. Was that a reference to having her ex murdered? No, that's me getting tired of this Dave stuff. I mean, Dave's a great guy. I mean, everyone who meets him likes him. 
he's not only super successful, but he's very low key, like t-shirts and jeans kind of guy. And he loved my sister's kids. I mean, if you if you listen to the wire, the point I was making is not how successful he is. The point I was making is that my my nephews farted on him, and he thought it was funny and didn't bother him. And he also has three young kids, the same ages as my sister's two young kids. They actually met in line when my sister was registering the kids for school. And it was very, they've been friends for years. So I thought it was a, a great opportunity for my sister to have a great guy in her life. Um, yeah, I think if Char Charlie, somebody's a great guy, I would <laughs> I'd run. So what's the benefit of Wendy having a, a new relationship and somebody to love her kids? A, she gets a babysitter. B, she gets to change her name. Wendy's going to have to change her name. If she never goes to jail, right? She has to change her name, and she said in the trial that she's going to change her name at some stage. She can't keep the Adelson name because they're all in jail, right? This case is never going to stop. Never. It's going to be one of the biggest cases ever in the States, right? So, in my opinion. So, she's going to have to change her name. She'll probably change it from Wendy, and she'll probably change it from Adelson. So, if she doesn't get locked up, she's going to be out there putting her contacts in, putting her mask on, Wendy mask. Wendy mask gets auctioned at 10,000 subscribers. So please hit the super thanks, please subscribe and please join the membership. You can get this channel growing. Yeah. Um, and I was getting sick and tired of, of Dave calls and the wires started in April. My sister's birthday's in April, Dave's birthday's in April. So you got a ton of Dave chatter on this case, but believe me, I. I'd go crazy if I was talking about Dave like this all year long. One so that's a no? You did not reference having her ex murdered? Absolutely not. When you said no. you've already gone above and beyond? No, that was me you... getting sick of dealing with the Dave stuff. Was... I get a government medal for going above and beyond in the community. That's what they told me, right? I didn't tell anyone that. I didn't even know. When I got my medal, right, it was New Zealander of the Year Awards. When I got that medal, I was sick. I had migraines and I had to have an operation on my stomach because there was a nerve trapped in my intestine sending pain straight up my back. Uh, for two weeks, I was locked in a room. with I couldn't see, like... Um, and I got the award uh, told that I was getting this award and I'd just given... Um, I'd been sick for weeks. It was I missed Christmas and New Year uh, a couple of years ago. And I got told I won this award and a friend said, well, that's ironic if they knew that you were in your bedroom with no income and you get an award for going above and beyond in the community because I'm teaching stage four cancer patients how to paint and just being their friend, right? Being friends with people in their 70s, which more people need to do. If you're 48, my age and watching this, get out today and make some friends that are older than you. Care about them because in 17 years, I'm going to be retired. I'm 48 now. And I want people to care about me when I'm older. And how do you get people to care about you is by being a nice person and not doing above and beyond. He went above and beyond and had Dan whacked. It's great. And he's smiling about it. He's got an inappropriate level of concern. He's lying. That's why he's locked away. The guy as he is, I, I was still getting sick of it. And he's got a flat monotone response. When the one million dollar offer was conceived, do you recall whose idea that was? Uh, my parents. Oh well, you just threw my parents. So that Donnie. So there's a reason to uh, arrest Harvey, right? So he's throwing everyone under the bus. They'll throw each other under the bus. So he just told he just told Georgia he had an innate anger about um, Wendy. He just said it was my parents' idea to pay a million dollars to have him relocated. I think they meant relocated underground. Anti-Semitic hit against a Jew. Come on! Why was the relocation worth a million bucks? Uh, I'll just show you his anchor point deception. So, after he says my parents... You can see him wiggle his feet and wiggle the chair. It's called anchor point. His anchor points are always what touches the ground. His bum on his seat is an anchor point. And after the question, the, the question has to trigger the response. You've already gone above and beyond. No, that was me getting sick of 
dealing with the Dave stuff. As great of a guy as he is, I, I was still getting sick of it. When the one million dollar offer was conceived, do you recall whose idea that was? Um, my parents. Why was the relocation worth a million bucks? Well, it was it was actually going I was gonna pay a third, so I, I only looked at it as that way. Um, why was it worth it? Mm -hmm. That's a question. Because it was gonna help my sister out, and it was gonna be a it was gonna give her a good opportunity for a good job down here, and she was gonna be around family, and family's important, so that's why. Isn't it true that financially you came out ahead on this deal as opposed to if you had coughed up the third of the million dollar offer? How in the world did I come up ahead? This is the crazy. Financially, thing. you paid one hundred thirty-eight thousand, and you paid two thousand a month plus the one thousand dollar payroll amount. You're still about over a hundred thousand dollars ahead financially than if you had coughed up the three thirty-three k. No, I would have been better off paying. And first of all, I never paid for a murder. So this is a crazy question, but paying three thousand dollars a month for life is not a is not anything anybody wants to do. I didn't say anything about paying for a murder. I said you paid $138,000, which you did. I got extorted for $330,000. Did you have any input on the decision to change the boys' names from Markel to Adelson? Right. So what do you think of that? Um, now, to help me out, there's a share button down there. It's like kind of like a wee triangle with three dots. If you press the share button and then copy it, go to your social media page or any like um, if you go on Facebook and you type hashtag justice for Dan Markell or you just search justice for Dan Markell you'll see that hashtag come up click on the hashtag and then just share that onto that into the pages just grab this video because we're going to try and get Georgia as the president of the United States Georgia for president <laughs> She's tough, she's gorgeous, she's the most talented prosecutor I've ever seen. It's phenomenal. And she's a good person, right? A good you, you need a good person leading your country, I think. Some people might disagree, but I just think she should be the president. She's phenomenal. Either that or just be an amazing prosecutor like she is. I saw an interview where she says, we don't often get thanked or, you know, there's not a lot of cards and letters rolling in. But I think the Georgia fan club is just growing. Uh, I'm right at the top of it. It's fantastic. So super thanks. If you got any value out of this, um, share on social media if you can. Uh, join the membership and um, just have a good day too. Thanks.